Hello everybody, my name is Ivica, thank you so much for being on the latest Let's Play video on my YouTube channel. This time we're playing an indie RPG strategy game called Westminster Darkly. It's a new game on Steam, you can download it and get it on the link in the description below and it's something that all fans of simulation management games, let's call them that, and RPG games will enjoy immensely. Also, if you're into post-apocalyptic games and dystopian games, this will be right up your alley. Now, let's check out the game in a new sequence that will first explain everything. It's been three weeks since the fabric of reality was fundamentally transformed. This never means anything good. Three weeks since we witnessed the end of the electric age. Following an electromagnetic storm as powerful as the Carrington event of 1859. So basically everything that goes on power is dead. The end of all electricity related technologies could not have come at a worse time. You see, after decades of frivolous consumerist lifestyles, modern society had enabled the rise of a population devoid of any basic survival skills. These domesticated urbanites are all starving now. And soon enough, they'll start killing one another for the few rotten scrap of pre-prepared food that remains. Voice acting is pretty solid. Westminster is regressing into a state of savagery, and yet our ruling elites stand immobile. Something must be done. And so here we are, just a few hundred men with definite skin in the game. Waiting for the signal to charge ahead and put an end to the comfort of a few self-serving weapons-grade morons. And so the game begins. As you can see, there was a huge electromagnetic pulse that wiped out everything on power and electricity. And now the world is basically in a lot of trouble and the same goes for Westminster. With that, the intro is over and we're stepping into the world of the game itself. Thomas, Mei Ling, it looks like it's now or never, my friends. Are your troops ready to take action? Everyone's ready to charge ahead. Got any last minute info about our opponent's forces? In all likelihood, we can expect two or three enemy units, each of them located further up to the northeast. The element of surprise should give us a slight edge. Let's roll. Let's roll indeed, and this is the game, we're in combat mode, as you can see these are my characters, the characters I control, uh, let me turn the basic info on, and you can see that we have our weapons range, uh, movement range, these individual bulbs represent the movements and action points, also this, the red bulbs are the strength or health, as well as individual statistics of each of the fighters. The great thing about this game is that even though the art style and the assets are not really top of the line as, as we would say, they still provide a really clear and concise environment. So you have your heads yeah. as visual representations yeah. of each of the fighters or individual units as well yeah. as their range what? and movement ability. So for starts, uh, let's move uh, Mei Ling here and yeah. slowly build our positions as we usually do yeah. in each uh, RPG game in one sense or the other, especially when they're squad based and we're controlling more than a single unit or a single avatar. Now this is all and I'm ending my turn because there are no further action points left. An insurrection in this neighborhood. We've detected a sizable group of well-armed men. Without a doubt, they're heading straight for us. So now we see a conversation from the perspective of our opponents, which is Rupert. Don't believe your lying eyes just yet, young man. For all we know, this could merely be another local terrorist attack. I'm afraid not, sir. No innocent bystanders have yet been shredded to pieces by vibrant lads with explosive devices. Bloody hell, then this might be worse than I thought. Cancel everything and deploy our forces at once. 
These madmen must be stopped. Now we get into the thick of it. Our opponents, which is Rupert and his band of thugs, brutes, is out on the streets. And there are three of them. Now I'm going to go with the tactic of basically trying to um, single out one by one. And here we see them trying to attack Edward, who fights back. Now, it's my turn. So basically, this is where the game yeah. becomes interesting. I'm going to put Edward right between these two, and I'm going to select one of them, and here are different options. Um, charge produces an audacious direct strike, engage produces standard attack, innervate, <laughs> I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing this right, innervate, um, is a disruptive attack that lowers the efficiency of the enemy, and taunt is uh, basically a way to draw uh, enemy units in. All of this will be super familiar to any RPG players. Damn it! And ah, right on. now, there was a roll of a dice in the game, figuratively speaking, which saw the enemy anticipate the charge. I'm going to move Mei Ling here, and hopefully have some options at her disposal, which are Snipe. Snipe produces a long-range crippling attack, first strike, and enemy retaliation. Okay, let's That's snipe. It. Nice damage. And now I'm going to move Thomas right about here and also hopefully go for a charge. Yep. Come on. <laughs> so Rupert or Thomas got the drop on them or on him. And I'll end my turn now. Rupert's boys are attacking Edward, who is taking a lot of damage right now. They also started or did us. Uh, this is interesting. Uh, attack with acid. So uh, Rupert will likely continue to, or Edward will likely continue to lose health. But yes. for now, that's not that important. The important thing is to start and move this move these guys away from the board in, sen in the sense of kill them so I'm focusing on this opponent right now so far so good for all other characters except Edward let's go for another snipe now snipe is not optional uh, I need to do another turn of um, waiting this character out to be able to snipe, so I'm just going to go with engage. Solid damage, so it wasn't a bad decision. And now Thomas will charge. Come on. Nice <laughs> damage. Further damage as well. And the character keeps falling back. That's it. Let's see what the dogs do. Ouch. Okay, Thomas is getting hit now, which is a better thing than Edward. Edward will get in some damage before the dog or brute can get his turn. Ouch. More damage for Thomas. And now again my turn. Let's see. I'm going to yeah. move. Yes. Ed no, I'm yes. going to move Edward. Yes. Yes. Let's see here. Oh. And he just got hit. And I'm going to go for Damn charge. Oh. Charge is predicted. Come on. And the opponent should be close to the end of his natural life. And there it is. He's out of it. 
Alrighty, so let's take out the second tug as well. Still, snipe is not active. I'm going to go with engage. Yes. And I'm going to go with engage here as well. Then, when we are left with only Rupert, I'll try and use some other options as well. Let's end the turn. Another tug just uh, appeared or <laughs> got uh, summoned to the battle. Okay, now Edward is in a bit of a trouble here. And I can see why he just has three health left. With another tug getting into the action. And this will yeah it, he will also try to engage Thomas I had a lot of luck now the counter-attack was good to good enough to take out the second tag now let's see yeah. mm -hmm. let's use combine combine attacks engages an opponent but up to two other units simultaneously and we have my second unit and we have a target against Rupert 12 damage not bad let's go here for engage hmm. interesting really low amounts of damage that's not good and I'm going to see if I can I can snipe that's cool that's it Solid amount of damage. And I have to go for end turn. Now this will be critical for Edward. Uh. Yep. Uh, only one and a half points of health left, which is really low. And a tug and Rupert. That's no not the good news by any stretch of imagination another acid attack so Edward is now critical and uh, let's see engage simple uh, simple attack over the head of her <laughs> over the head of her allies That's what can do charge Come on. <laughs> nice another set of charging Another set of charging, another charging set. And yeah. let's see if he can engage. Okay. Again, Mei Ling. Let's see if she can. Okay, that, that's the end of the turn. I'm going to skip. Uh, or I'm going to end the turn now. Ouch! Okay, the enemies are concentrating on Thomas now. Let's see if this one does the same. Oh, not. They're attacking Edward with just a single health. Ah. Now it's half half of a single. Damn. Okay, let's see. Is the sniping attack? No. Uh, we're going to go for a regular attack. And we're going to go here. Come on. Another charge. <laughs> and they continue to fight. And I managed to get Rupert out of the game. That's awesome. Now, yeah, I need to use a bit of <laughs> hiding skills here and move uh, Edward uh. away. Can Edward engage? Yeah, let's use an enerving, enervating attack here and lower the effectiveness of the same character. Let's go for... No, yeah, she's done. And he's done. Oh no, he's not. Oh, he is. The action point uh, bulbs are empty. 
Now let's see if enemy will continue to force Edward. Uh, Edward is barely clinging to life. Potentially he's out of it now. Or he might not be. Yeah, his, his health is practically non-existent. And let's see if this attack can only hurt the opponent without giving him a chance to counter strike. Oh damn, Edward is out. They captured him. Okay. Now the stuff got serious. Uh, he is outside of the range of Mei Ling. Let's see if it's different now. Okay. That's it. Sniping attack. Nice bit of damage. <laughs> And another Come on. set of attacks, this time charge. There's a damage bonus, a plus 9, no? <laughs> 22, that's the, the biggest attack I saw so far. And that's it, we won. They were utterly destroyed. It's over, Rupert. No, wait, you can't end me. I didn't do anything. Exactly. You simply kept stuffing yourself like a glutton while this whole neighborhood turned to chaos. I was deceived. Everyone kept repeating that this was just part and parcel of living in a big city. Please, don't let it end like this. I can help you. Now, I have three options at my disposal and I really like this. These are special events and it, it showcases that um, deep and rich RPG setup that actually Westminster darkly possesses here. I can recruit, exile or execute my previously defeated opponent and I'm going to go with recruit. Perhaps you do deserve a second chance. Of course all of I this do. I really do. has some repercussions down the road, I'm betting. What the fuck is wrong with you? This bloated traitor was playing you like a fiddle. Okay. I'm dead serious man, don't wreck our own fucking plan. This wasn't expected at all. Rupert clearly got got get uh, and mailing. Except for your last minute recruitment delusion, it's fair to say that our insurgency is a success. We've gained effective control over the neighborhood and have established ourselves within Green Park Station. And at this point, the game takes uh, a different tone. It stops being about combat and starts being about uh, simulation management and more precisely city or m even neighborhood management in this case. Now all of this is a huge new chapter, I'm not gonna get into it today, hopefully I'll do another video of Westminster Darkly where I delve into this in particular. As you can see you have your different stats here up at the top of the screen, all of them mean something, I would love to explore this even further but as I say that will take place in a new video. This one was the introduction to the game and basically showcase its rich and uh, well-defined system of combat. So if you're an RPG fan, if you love classical games in the genre, you will love Westminster Darkly as well. It has the depth, the complexity and the polish actually to be a great RPG game. Now if we add to this the city or neighborhood management and strategy portion that can be explored, that I will explore potentially in my new videos, you really get a fantastic indie title. Check the link in the description below, download the game and try it out. I think that if you're into these genres, you will love it in the first hour of gameplay. Thank you so much for watching, my name is Ivica and I'll see you hopefully on my new video. Until then, please subscribe and have a great day. Bye-bye.